Switches are important and carry out vital tasks in a network. If things are not working quite the way they should, or you want to apply configuration changes, a reboot may be just what you need. There may even be a time when your switch needs a totally fresh start and should go back to the factory default settings. Either way, I've got you covered. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to perform a reboot or factory reset on a Catalyst 1200 or 1300 switch. Next. Cisco Catalyst 1200 and 1300 switches allow for both a manual reboot and a factory reset. It's important to remember that rebooting the switch deletes the running configuration. So unless you want to redo any configurations since the last reboot, you should save the running configuration to the startup configuration before you proceed. The most efficient way to reboot the switch is to press and hold the reset button on the device for less than 10 seconds. That's it. If you don't have physical access to the switch, you can perform a reboot using its web user interface. To perform a reboot this way, log into the switch. Navigate to administration and then reboot. You can choose to reboot the switch immediately, at a specific date or time, or a set time. I'll choose immediate. If you want to restore the device to factory default settings or clear the startup configuration the next time it boots up, you have the option to select it here. I don't want to restore to factory default, so I'll make sure that box is not checked. Once you've selected your preference, click Reboot. Next, I'll show you how to manually reset the Catalyst switch to factory default. This deletes all configurations that have been changed from the default settings. Some of the main reasons for a factory reset are, if a reboot doesn't help the device to run correctly and the solution isn't obvious, or you received a switch that another person in the company used and you need to clear the configuration and start over. To begin, disconnect all ethernet cables from the switch. With the power on, press and hold the reset button for more than 10 seconds. When the process completes, connect your computer directly to access the switch using an ethernet cable. To connect properly, you will need to make sure that your Ethernet interface has an IP address in the same subnet as the switch. To check or modify this on your Windows PC, select Control Panel, Network and Internet, and Network Connections. Select the Ethernet interface, then TCP slash IPv4 properties. Enter an IP address somewhere in the range of 192.168.1.2 to 192.168.1.253. Choose an address that is not already in use. In this example, I've set my Ethernet address to 192.168.1.252. The subnet mask is 255.255.255.0, and the default gateway, the switch, is 192.168.1.254. Once you're done, click OK and close the windows. Select and open a web browser. Enter the IP address of the switch in the address bar. The default IP address of the switch is 192.168.1.254. Once connected, the switch will prompt for a username and password. The default username and password are Cisco, all lowercase. Configure a new password for better protection of your network. Enter Cisco in the old password field and enter your new password in the new password and confirm password fields. Click apply. Once prompted by the pop-up message, click okay. Click the blinking save icon to save these settings to the startup configuration file. That's all there is to it. Now you know a few simple ways to perform a reboot or factory reset on your Catalyst 1200 or 1300 switch. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.